how to add your GoDaddy business email in Gmail. Hey guys, welcome to this easy to follow tutorial in which I will be showing you how you can add a professional business email that you got on GoDaddy to your Gmail. So let's get into it. Uh, without wasting any time, we will start the process. You will need to have an account on GoDaddy.com and make sure that you have an active Gmail uh, that is working. So now what we need to do is we need to connect our GoDaddy business email. So you can see right here, if I take you to emails, we can buy or we can get emails from GoDaddy. So once you have an email here, you will be adding it to Gmail. So the first step that you need to do is you need to go to your mail.google.com or open up your Gmail. You're going to click on settings. After clicking on settings, you're going to click on see all settings. Now it will take you somewhere like this. What you're going to do is you're going to click on accounts and import. So under accounts and import, you'll be able to see a bunch of different settings, but I want you to scroll down a little bit to find check mail from other accounts. This is the option where you will be adding a business mail from GoDaddy. So I'm going to click on add a mail account. Now here we need to enter an email address, then click on next. Now we need to get this email address from GoDaddy. So for that, we're going to go to GoDaddy now. Make sure you have an account here and you have bought the plan. So on GoDaddy, you can just simply go to email. And then in email, we have all mail option and then we have business email. So I'm going to switch to business email because I'm looking for that one. Now we will be buying a new email uh, if you do not have it. So of course, I'm going to show you. You can even scroll down to check out some other, uh, you know, essential emails or business emails that are available. So here you can see look professional with a custom email address and more. I'm going to click on see plans and pricing. So here we can select the pricing plan for any of these. I'm just going to go ahead and select the, uh, this one for our business email. And now you're just going to follow the steps. You can see if we are getting the business email, it is going to be, this is going to be the subtotal. No, it's not for free. You can even select the mailboxes. Now this is really important when you're creating a business email, select number of mailboxes, help your team be more efficient with dedicated mailboxes. Now, if you want to kind of like assign these business email to different team members, then you will actually have to update it. So you, if you add more and more accounts, you will be able to see that your total will be increased. So again, it depends on you, the what kind of business you're running or what kind of emails you want to go for. Now, I'm just gonna go ahead and complete the checkout process and then we will proceed to get an email. Once you've bought the email, now you're good to go. Let me show you where you can find the email, business email that you got with GoDaddy. So there's two ways to access that. First of all, you're gonna, you're gonna go to my accounts at the top here and you can select email and office. If I click on it, it will take me directly to the business email dashboard where I'll be able to see my emails. The second way to do so is you can go to your account and under account, you can go to my products. So within my products, you'll be able to find all the products that you've bought, whether it's domains, emails, or more. So we're going to simply go to email and office. And this is where I will just copy my email that I just bought. So for instance, if I have an email here, I will copy it. Now you're good to go from GoDaddy. Uh, you have everything ready. We're going to go back to our Gmail. And this is where you're going to paste the mail that you just got with GoDaddy. So in my case, I'm just going to simply go ahead and paste my email. After entering your email, you're going to click on next. Now you have to select, uh, you can either import emails from this to your Gmail box or link accounts with others. So we actually want to, if I want to go ahead and kind of like even import all the emails that I already have. So we're going to select the option of import emails from other account, click on next. And now this is where you need to enter your username. Remember your username is actually your email address and you can actually check out your, um, you know, username from your GoDaddy too. So this is where I have entered the username. We have password and then we of course have the server that is, uh, you know, adding it and we have the GoDaddy here. You can see right here, GoDaddy, this is the business email that I got from GoDaddy that will be added to my Gmail. The process is very simple and easy. There's no complication here. A Gmail allows you to add actually business email from any other platform you like so now we have added this here you can see some of the other uh you know options and it totally depends on you whether you want to go for it or not for example leave a copy of retrieved message on the server always use a secure connection label incoming messages or archive so 
actually, I'm going to go ahead and use this one because in my Gmail, I do want to kind of like have an idea that this, these emails were from, uh, you know, this business email or this specific server. So we can select this one or we can also like maybe select always use a secure, um, uh, you know, connection while retrieving the mail. So you, if you want to check these, you can do that. And now all you have to do is just hit add account. Once you click on add account, once you click on add account, your mail will be added to Gmail. Your GoDaddy business email will be added to your Gmail. As I told you that this is what we will learn. The process is very simple. I'm going to quickly go ahead and again, do it for you. For example, go to your settings. In your settings, remember that you have to go to all settings and in, under account and import, you'll find this option. On GoDaddy, you just have to copy the email that you have and you're going to paste it to your Gmail right here and it will be added now the important part in all of this is that how is it works for example while you're buying the business email on godaddy we saw some pricing plans so let me go through those pricing plans for you so you have an idea about the affordability and how the email business email actually works on godaddy so this is the pricing plan for the emails on godaddy you can you can see we have the basic plan for just 199 dollars per user per month uh with a one year term you will be actually saving the money you will be getting 10 gb of email storage with this user domain name with your email and you will be getting the uh, your domain.com here then we have a, a plus uh, plan which is going to be just $5.99 uh, per user per month. With this, you get up to 50 GB email storage, user domain name for your email address, and you also get your protective production. Then the last one is the essential plan, which is just going to be $10.99 per user per month, and you can save up to 26% with a yearly plan. Here, you get a bunch of other options, and here you also get Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. You also get Me Chat and Collaborate with uh, options. So all of the, I think the whole workspace is available with this plan. So now it, it depends on you that if you want to get a business email, but with that, you also want to get other apps and you want to kind of like explore and expand your business, then I think this option will be really good for you. But now you know that how you can actually very easily access your GoDaddy mail, business mail to your Gmail, you will be able to receive your mails very quickly, very easily, because we know Gmail has this, uh, we use Gmail all the time. You even have maybe have an application on your phone. So it will be really easy for you to access your business emails now and run a business. So yeah, guys, this brings us to the end of the video. I hope that I was a big help to you. And now you know everything that you wanted to know. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if this tutorial was a big help to you. I tried to tell you everything about the topic and I hope that you understood everything and now you are good to go and don't forget to uh, share this video with your friends and family members so they can also get the information they want to. Also, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel. The button will be given right down below. Go ahead and subscribe to the youtube channel also hit the notification bell so every time you get notified when we post a video so yeah also leave a comment down below what was your favorite part and what did you learn from this video or if you have any question 